The B&O Railroad's Mount Clare shops were the heart and soul of its operations for over 150 years. Universally considered the birthplace of American railroading with 10 acres, a depot, and car building, the site would grow to encompass over 100 acres and more than 25 industrial buildings to become a self-contained industrial city capable of supporting almost every conceivable facet of the B&O's operations. Located in West Baltimore, the B&O Montclair shops were situated on a portion of an estate donated to the railroad by James Carroll, a descendant of Charles Carroll the barrister. James Carroll donated 10 acres on a wooded hill to the railroad located on the outskirts of Baltimore City. The B&O named the new depot Mount Clare Station in honor of Mount Clare Mansion, his family home. Eventually, the B&O would acquire 15 more acres from Carroll, and from humble beginnings, the site would grow to become a large industrial center and saw many historic railroad firsts like the perfection of the flanged wheel, the operation of the first American-built steam locomotive, construction of the first iron railroad bridge, and the world's first air-conditioned passenger car. Even Samuel Morse's first telegraph message, What Hath God Wrought, was sent from Washington, D.C. to a building located on this historic site. The shops evolved over time based on the railroad's needs. Initially, the site contained a depot, shop building, and stables to house the horses that pulled the first passenger cars. Later additions included a foundry, boiler shop, and additional car house, and by the 1850s, almost every trade relating to railroading took place on site. The oldest building that still exists was added at this time. The Mount Clare Depot opened in 1851 to replace the earlier depot. In 1872, President Ulysses S. Grant visited the site and marveled at the extent of the railroad's operations. By this time, it included blacksmith, brass, and foundry shops, passenger car shops, machine shops, and bridge building facilities. Grant was most impressed that much of the machinery being used at the shops was actually built on site. Several engine, passenger car, and freight car repair roundhouses were added over time including the sole surviving roundhouse, designed by E. Francis Baldwin in 1884. Built as a passenger car repair facility, it had 22 bays for working on passenger cars, three entrances, a 60-foot turntable, and was an acre in size. As passenger cars became larger, the roundhouse was used less frequently and would eventually be repurposed to serve as a museum in 1953. The heyday of the shops occurred shortly before the Great Depression in the mid-1920s. During this time, the shops employed over 3,000 people and the locomotive erecting shops became massive, incorporating several shops in one building that stretched over 1,000 feet long. As many as 10 large steam locomotives could be refurbished inside the building at one time. As railroading changed, so did the Mount Clare shops with the modification and addition of buildings dedicated to air brake repair, testing air conditioning, and repairing and maintaining diesel engines. However, economic pressure, regulation, and the rise of competition with the automobile and airline industry led to the decline of the B&O that was mirrored at its shops. The last steam engine was built on site in 1948, and fire destroyed the locomotive erecting shops in 1962. Shortly after this, the B&O merged with the Chesapeake and Ohio Railway, and many functions would be moved to other facilities. By 1976, many of the buildings were no longer used, in poor condition, and were demolished as the railroad downsized and eventually sold portions of the property. Today, the legacy of the Mount Clare shops continues where the surviving buildings form the core of the B&O Railroad Museum. Here, the story of the birth and development of American railroading takes place. In fact, the museum operates and maintains its own shop on site, making it one of the oldest continually utilized rail facilities in the nation. 
I'm Michael Gross. Thanks for watching the B&O Railroad Museum Television Network. Interested in learning more about the B&O Railroad Museum and Ellicott City Station? Follow us on Facebook and Twitter with daily updates on upcoming events, coupons, photographs, history, and things to do in Baltimore, you'll never be off track.